Okay, so we're gonna start off with one from the house of Givenchy. So this first one that I got is from the house of Givenchy and it is a laundry day. I know it was about seven months ago, probably eight months ago, but I did say that I was going to buy this perfume and I went on the hunt and I found the whole gift set. Incredible deal. Hint, hint, Macari. If you are already not signed up to Macari, I will leave a link to a sign up as well as a link to my store because I sell my fragrances, the ones that I get that I'm either not loving anymore or they just don't have no more place in my collection or they're just collecting dust, honey, because I do have some that's collecting dust. But this one, I talked about it. I said I was going to get it and guess, ma'am, I got this Notre D. Definitely a heavy hitter on a white floral, but man, this is good and this lasts. I knew I was going to buy this and they also have another one. Um, it's a Lantra D. Uh, Melissa me, I think that's what it's called. Honey, We, I'm already kind of trying to find me a sample of that because I was on Instagram, fell down a rabbit hole on Instagram, and I actually seen that new uh, flanker. And I said, oh my goodness, I got to try that. But yep, I went ahead and I got the full size bottle. And with this gift set, it came with the, the body lotion and, and as well as a smaller sample. And you guys already know how I am about these dabbers. I don't do the dabbers, so most likely when I have another declutter or a perfume sale, I'm definitely going to include that because I don't do those, okay? And I haven't tried the lotion yet, but I'm definitely going to try it. I'm going to mix it with, a little bit with my coconut oil and try it on my legs and arms and see how I like it. This is a strong perfume, so I don't know if that may be too much, but I'm definitely going to... Um, get into the lotion. But again, I did get this gift set from the house of Givenchy and it is Elantra D Eau de Parfum. Okay, so this next one, actually two, I got from the same design house and this one was, this came out maybe about seven months ago and I literally, maybe a little bit longer, maybe eight, nine months. I don't know, close to a year or not yet a year, but close to it. But I actually went ahead and picked up the 50 mil because I had a sample and oh, I was blown away. So I, I knew I was, I knew I wanted this one and I went ahead and I got it, but it is the Volce Viva from Valentino. This is another one where that, that advertisement just, you just fall down a rabbit hole on Instagram sometimes, but the advertisement made me buy, intrigued my interest on really wanting to try this Valentino Volce Viva. Like I said, I bought this back in September. Oh, good grief. I bought this back in September. Mm, beautiful display of orange blossom. That's all I'm going to say because this is just a haul. Just to show you guys what I've been dibbling and dabbling in. But worn this several times. Yeah, got the full gist of it. Ready to spill some tea on it. That's why I'm just showing it in a collective haul. But I, like I said, I did get it in the 50 mil. This is an eau de parfum. And... Yeah, this red top you, or this studded top with the red sides is so beautiful. Like when you turn it this way, it's gold and then it's, and then it's red. Look how beautiful that red is. Let me put it by my lips, y'all. Mm, I love red. I, I think I, my next video, I'm going to have me on my red, um, my red, uh, liquid lipstick. I love liquid lipstick, matte red. It's gorgeous. It's bomb and it looks to absolute perfection. I love it. So I'm definitely going to, um, when I do my review or incorporate this into Scent Talk, I'm going to be wearing red. So hold me to that. Red it is. But again, this one is Valentino's Voce Viva. Beautiful scent. That's all I'm going to say on that. So on to the next one. Okay, so this next one is also from the house of Valentino and it is Valentino Donna Aqua. I was so intrigued. As a matter of fact, I have a one ounce of this. I found a one ounce bottle at, I want to say Burlington. And it was like $30 for the one ounce bottle. I still bought it. I don't care. I Because I, I wanted to smell it. If I didn't like it, I would have just took it back. Y'all know how that go. But I loved it. And you guys, I went ahead and I ordered me the 100 mil. And I'm probably going to put that 30 mil on Macari. So I know I'm talking about fragrances like that I don't like and that, you know, I don't wear and all that stuff. So just know that these are going to be in the next declutter sale. And I'm definitely going to declutter that one ounce because, honey, I don't need one ounce. This is enough for me because I it, it, 
it has that similarity to like Valentino, the Donna line kind of has that, you know, has those similarities. Now, the only one that I have not tried from the Donna line is the the green one. Um, what it, I can't remember the name of it. I will I will put a picture up here. You guys, I can't remember what it's called. Is it Rosa Verde? Something like that. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm still as of yet to try that one, but this one is, oh my goodness. This one is really pretty. This one's real sweet too. So and this one I've worn and you can see, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm getting, I've been spraying this. I didn't wear this several times since I didn't got it, but I've had it for over six months. So I've been wearing it and stuff and, you know, so I have a full gist of this perfume. So I just wanted to share this one as well from Valentino. And again, this one is Valentino Donna Aqua. ED, no, this is an EDT. Yes, this is an EDT. Yes, this is an EDT. Hmm. Okay, well, it's the EDT. I can't tell it's the EDT the way how strong this is, but it's an EDT. And she's definitely a bonus in my collection. And again, this one is Valentino Donna Aqua. Okay, so moving right along. This next one, you guys, it's been talked about. It's been floating around. I tried this years ago, okay? And every time I tried, every time I went to Ulta and I sprayed it on the paper, I was like, I don't like it. I mean, I don't get the hype on it. But it is Olympiatrice Olymp Olymp from D&G, which is Dolce & Gabbana. Um, it's the number three from the line. It's highly talked about and everyone loves it. And I, I just, I forced myself to buy this. I did. I ended up getting this at TJ Maxx and it was $34.99. And I put a little bit of a dent in it. And I put it in it because I'm trying to figure it out. I'm just going to give y'all a little synapse of what I went through when I did wear this. I had to keep spraying it, okay? Because at first when I sprayed it, I was like, I can't really smell nothing but just like melon, like a, like a bitter watermelon or something. I don't know. It just kiwi, like a bittery fruit. And I was like, well, how is it saying powdery? How is it saying musky sweet? I'm like, I don't get that. Hold on. I sprayed this. I, I think I sprayed about six of these on me. And I made sure I hit my hand. And I walked outside because I was getting ready to go. And this was right when it was getting cold, like really bitterly cold here. And I just had on a jacket, but I had the sleeves rolled up. So I, I the part of my hand that I sprayed was kind of exposed. So for me walking from my back porch to my garage, honey, I got a whiff. Or I got a, a gust of air came through. That's the wind. And I smell, I said, oh, that's what everybody's talking about. I smell what everybody's talking about. It's that powdery musk. It's, it's not like baby powder, but it's more like, um, it's kind of hard to explain. But I would just say the fruit, the watermelon, that kiwi watermelon smell, that fades. And you are left with this sweet powder, fruity powder, musky powder. I get it. So, Olympia Trees. Yes, ma'am. She's not going back. I'm going to definitely hold on to this one. This right here may be a little bit of a hidden gem. I get it. I totally get it. Okay, so moving right along, I picked up, I had a sample of this and I picked it up. This is Black Opiums. Um, this is Issa Laurent Black Opium, the Parfum Intense. So this is the one that got like the blue glitter flex on it. And I did, you can see like it's reflecting blue. I don't, I hope my camera is picking up, but it reflects blue. And you guys, okay, so I had 